And it's the CFT, the College Football Tournament, opening round. It's now Indiana versus 12th ranked LSU. And here we go. Indiana has the ball. Let's see what they're going to do with it. And right now, if we notice, it's Indiana with possession of the ball, playing at a very tough place to play in Baton Rouge at LSU. Let's see how far they can take it to the house as the quarterback is scanning for the player. Wide receiver gets it, and that's going to go for some big yardage to start the drive. So what's your strategy against uh, LSU here? <clears throat> well, it's to try to get as much yardage as possible, not necessarily looking for big, deep pass opportunities, just enough to add on first downs as enough as possible while chewing up the clock because I'm playing at a really tough house at LSU. That was a beautiful screen, and as a result, the quarterback was able to run it for 24 yards. Take a look at the quarterback because if there's one thing you notice here is that the quarterback got some legs. They can move. Well, hey, man, first drive, you're doing way better than me. I'll tell you that much. Well, another ranked team, in this case, the 12th ranked LSU. And just like that, LSU deflects the ball. The linebacker, number 25, could have took it for a pick, but was able to share some mercy to Indiana. Hey, man, if you play like me, you'll go far in this series. Well, let's see how far we can go. It's now just a two-yard rush. It's third and eight. If that was me, that would have been a first down. Well, we'll find out here. Rough environment. Big difference from the last game. This is a very tough field to play. And the quarterback is looking for an open man. Sees one right there, but doesn't get enough. It's going to be fourth and short. And Indiana is going to go for it. Oh, aggressive, I see. I like that. Big difference. Can there be a first down? No, it's not a first. It's a touchdown for Indiana. Decides to go for it on fourth, and the halfback, number 12, was able to put up six points. Okay, a really aggressive play call in the early goings of the game. I like that. Setting the tone. Could have gone for three, decided to add four more on top of it, and now LSU is going to try to come with a response. Kicks off to the wide receiver, number three, and already up to the 25, and that's a 25-yard return. They're going to get it right at the 25 to start their drive, second drive in the match. For LSU, steps back, connects to the wide receiver number 80 for 16 yards. So what is your uh, goal here on defense here on this first drive? Well, if we notice, there's a lot of zone. Try to keep those passers really protected with three wide receivers set up from LSU. Three in the back end for Indiana. That's where we're going to try to go for. Now there's two in the cover two defense. Quarterback passes it to the halfback, tries to find something open, but couldn't get much movement. Gets six yards. Okay, I see. You know, the defense is holding up, clamping up those holes, making sure they not go far. Third and fourth, halfback, couldn't do much with it. Loses yards, and Indiana with a very big shutdown. They're going to get the ball back. Pretty good three and out by Indiana. Let's see what they do here on that second drive. Doesn't do much. They're going to start at the 21. Again, a frantic crowd making it hard for Indiana to make a play, but does enough for the first down. And now with a new set of downs, can they do it again with another passing play? LSU says no, with the cornerback getting their first deflection. It looked a little greedy there, but I understand why he did it. Now goes to the halfback, sees if they can make a movement. Nice block, and right there it's seven yards. If he was able to follow the block, it was just a little bit more. It would have been a huge game, but hey, it's positive yards. And it's third and three. And if you notice right there, that wide receiver was like, hey, I'm open, and got a 17-yard reception. Getting close to the red zone here to see what they do. Here we see another passing play, but it got deflected. And now number 43 is applauding himself for a very good move, second and 10. Quarterback steps back, gives it to the halfback. It's going to be for four yards. Hey, man, at least you're getting closer and closer. Third and six, tries to make something here. Could it be a first down? Looking, looking, gets it, but couldn't hold on to it. Very unfortunate because that would have been the first round needed for a possible score. And with that field goal, that wasn't good enough. It fell up short. Now it's Indiana. Sorry, LSU gets possession, goes to the halfback, number 33, for about four or five yards. It's three. 
Hey, man, it sucks you couldn't get the field goal, but hey, you still got a one possession lead, so that's all that matters. For how long? LSU's going to try to make a response with that. The quarterback is holding on to the ball, loses two yards as a result. Hey, man, clamped him up, and he ain't went nowhere. Third and nine. It's going to be a big running play, actually a passing play for LSU. Can they make a move here? We see it here as the quarterback steps back. Sees a reception. No! Wasn't good enough. Wide receiver, number three, gets 39 yards for the first. And with another fake, the quarterback faked himself and lost four yards. Hey, at least you got a sack. Second and 14. Quarterback steps back. Tries to find someone open. 86 was open. Gets the first. And here we go again. A long drive for LSU. Passes it back to the halfback. Gets a few yardage, about four to be exact. And they're running the clock down, second and six. Let's see how this red zone defense goes on. And at this point, there's at least two in the back. Quarterback steps back, sees the tight end, and is going to make it for another first down for nine yards. All right, it's first and goal. Let's see what they do here. Let's see if they can try to punch it in the tight end. they game. stop it here? Indiana's going to try to do something about it, but Indiana just gave up a yard to LSU. So it's second and sh in a uh, few. Here we go again. Quarterback says, you know what? I'm going to do it. Goes for another yard. Third and goal. Only let's needs four yards for the touchdown. Let's see if you can hold them up at least a tough field goal and get them go three and out in the red zone. Can they go three and out in the red zone? Yep. It looks like it's going to be fourth and goal. Two yards earned, but they're going for it on fourth. They need this if they want to tie up the match. 125 remaining. Here goes the move. If they launch the play. Nine Listen, seconds I guess left. they're trying to kill the clock. They are with five seconds left on the play clock. Finally gets it to the halfback, and they finally put some points on the board. Do you think that was smart on their part, what they did? Well, they figured, you know what, let's give Indiana not much time to make movement, especially it's now 7-all. Good move to burn the clock. Now the wide receiver only goes for 24 yards. They get possession with about a minute and four seconds, 64 seconds left. Quarterback steps back, finds the tight end, gets two yards. At least it moves the chain, and if you look at that, this is Four wide receivers, they're all going deep. All streaks, goes to the tight end, and the tight end gets a 19-yard reception. Calls a timeout by Indiana. Let's see if we could at least get in field goal range at the very least. Try to break the tie. Quarterback is looking. Can he find someone? No. At least that wasn't picked. I'm saying what in the hell was I thinking? Two people right there, double coverage. 30 seconds left. Second and 10, gets the first down by the tight end for 12 yards. And now you're at midfield. Let's see if you can get in the field goal range. Clock is running. Another timeout called by Indiana. With one left. Gets the first down. Pushes one of those guys down and the other for 42 yards. So you got the ball that looks like the two-yard line. Let's see if you can punch it in before halftime. Can the halfback do it? With 10 seconds left, he does. Touchdown, Indiana. And you got the lead back. Look at that. And you have the, the length of the field, too. I mean, what, you, what was going through your mind as you got all the way down the field? I want points before the quarter ends. I wanted to go with the lead to end the first half. Hey, simple enough. Now with Indiana... Number three has the ball, tries to go to the side, only gets 18 yards with six seconds left in the second. So it's only enough for a, a play on this drive. Quarterback gives it to number 33, tries to run it. Free safety didn't know what the hell was going on, and 47 stopped him. And now we go to half. So with that, LSU trailing an unranked Indiana team by a possession. We go to the third quarter. Number three gets the return and goes for 24 yards. Now let's see if you guys could, you know, open this game up in the second half and try to put this game away. If so, it will be a massive upset in the first round of the tournament, and the halfback goes for three yards. All right, second and seven. Let's see if they can clamp down, maybe run a blitz or some zone. Let's see what happens. Well, it looks like it's going to be a zone play, but with nothing there... 
Indiana's pretty excited to shut it down. It's third and seven. They were there to get some pressure on the quarterback, and now it's third and seven. Let's see what they have. They want a big play here to keep the drive going, and they do with the first down by number 82. Uh, well, I mean, hey, it happens sometimes. You know, you give up a play. At least it wasn't a big one. New set of downs for LSU. Near the midfield, 33 gets it, but it's going to be the left end stopping him. Second and nine. Halfback gets the ball again. Another stop for another yard. Puts it to third and nine. Big stop opportunity. Two for four in terms of third down conversions. Man in motion. Here we go with the quarterback. Steps back to pass. Pass it to the halfback. What is this? What is the safety trying to do? Looks like he couldn't take that guy down. He almost dragged him at least 10 yards down the field. Well, a lost opportunity for Indiana. They get a new set of downs. LSU does. And as a result, let's see what happens here. Gets the call again. And it looks like right there it's going to be a big 10-yard rush. And Sur Surprised yeah. they didn't give it to them. Well... I'm happy they didn't. <laughs> right now it's second and in inches. And here we go. Quarterback gives it to the halfback number four. Goes for the first down. Moves to the side. 11 yards. Moving the clock to now 239 in the third. LSU still with possession. Gives it to himself. He's keeping it. He's moving it. He's going to get at least eight yards. And he will. Puts it to second and two. All right, let's see what happens here. Second and two. Can they, you know, looks like should be a blitz coming or could be a zone. Let's see what happens. It looks running? like they can try to blitz it here, but the zone is what the move is. Halfback took advantage of it, and that's just sad. Indiana did not have an answer for that one. Well, hey, the game is tied, but it's still early. It's only about two minutes left in the third quarter. Anything can happen here. Anything could happen. Hopefully something positive for Indiana. They get the ball. Wide receiver number one finds something right there. Goes for 25 yards as they move into their drive. Very crucial here only because with a 14-14 tie at LSU, Indiana is trying to make a huge statement by shutting down arguably one of the best teams in the tournament. And it looks like another first down for Indiana. Just work the, work, work the ball down the field and see what happens. Get the defense tied. Speaking of which, we see two right receivers on the side. And we notice it's the wide receiver number one that's going to take it for 12 yards. All right, another first down, moving the chains, keeping them moving. Let's see what happens here. Indiana loves to go for those short passes. They get six, eight, nine yards here and there. They all add up. Hey, man, sometimes there's nothing wrong with check downs. Oh, that big run here. And that gives another first down for Indiana. They're working up the field. You're not seeing them throwing the long ball. They're just going to try to move the chains. Another move, another catch for number one, eight yards Second and two. All right, in the red zone right now. Let's see what happens here. Can they punch it and take the lead again? Only need two yards. Gives it to the halfback. Halfback gets the two and more for another first down. First and goal. Should be able to punch it in here and take the lead again. Can they go for six? Gives it to the halfback. No, it goes to the quarterback. And the quarterback just trips and only makes it to just first and goal. On the two-yard line. Just needs to inch it in. And they do for six. And again, it takes the lead again. This looks like it could be a shootout. It's going into a seesaw battle. You wouldn't think that this is the 12th-ranked LSU going up against a non-ranked Big Ten team. They're not playing like it. I can tell you that much. You would think it's a shutout. No, it's Indiana still with the lead going into the fourth and final quarter of the match. This could, might, could, could come down to who makes the mistake first. Big upset possibly, but right now LSU is going to tell us something about it. They're saying no. Eight-yard rush, second and two. And now we are into the fourth quarter. It's do or die now. This could be the upset that Indiana is looking for. They're five minutes away. LSU, second and two. Quarterback takes it, gets the first down, goes for more, and that's a 13-yard rush. All right, good first and ten. LSU is trying to move the ball down the field. Let's and see. with that, he's going to try to go down the field by going and looking and still looking. Is there a connection? There is! Wow! Oh, no! LSU with the touchdown. Number I 80. cannot believe that happened. Ugh. 
Indiana gave up a huge play, and now the game is tied again. Talk about exploited. That was nasty. I wish that could have been on instant replay. Wow. Damn. I cannot believe that. That was just incredible. Let's see if Indiana has a response to that. Indiana moves it up to near the 30. And with the crowd so insane, the quarterback doesn't know where to pass it. The communication isn't there. But number one heard enough of it, enough to get the first down 16-yard reception. All right. Game is here. It's time to see what can happen here. So, the game is on the line. And Indiana is going to go and throw it. Passes it to number oh one. Oh, my goodness. Is this another touchdown? That's down? nasty. Wow. Indiana was like, you know what? You want to throw deep? We can throw deep, too, for 57 yards. And Indiana, again, with the lead, only by one possession. Like I said, folks, this is probably going to be a shoot. I was going to come down to who makes the first mistake. And it looks like it's going to start at the 25 for LSU. And look at the offense. You can think that LSU is really trailing, but no, they've been keeping the game close. But Indiana, something about their quarterback being able to move, the halfback making some moves, and the wide receiver number one, that combination is enough for Indiana to take the lead. But 33 says no. They want a first down. He refused to go down. They moved the chains. Here we go. Another set of downs for LSU. This time it's a fake. Quarterback is moving to the side. What is the cornerback going to do but stop him for six yards? Thank God he didn't get a first. Second and four. Another fake again by the quarterback. And this time the quarterback's going to get 10 yards. First and 10. The chains keep moving. And the time is ticking. 321 remaining in the fourth. Quarterback again with another fake. This is the third, third, third time that the quarterback has pulled that off for 17 yards. Can any other stop the run? That's a question Indiana has to answer if they want to hold on to the lead. But the quarterback's going to throw it to number 82 for another first. They're moving it down and right in the red zone. That's a groove. That's a real groove that's being established by LSU. Here we go. Setting up the play right now. Looks like it's going to go to the halfback. But no, quarterback's going to try to throw it. Passes it to nobody, stopping the clock. Hey, they got the pressure on the quarterback, and he had no choice but to throw it away. 2.45 remaining, second and 10. And it looks like the quarterback is going to try to throw. No, it's a flea flicker. Halfback takes it, and the middle linebacker stops him for eight-yard rush. And it looks like an injury has been ensued to LSU. And we'll see what happens to that player when we get information. But right now, it's third and two for LSU. Quarterback, nope, wants the first down and gets it. It's getting down to the wire, folks. This game could be tied again, or Indiana could hold them and have a three and out. And it looks like we're going to have a brand new quarterback because our first string quarterback for LSU is injured and will be out for the rest of the game. 148 remaining. Number 17, second string, is going to take over as quarterback passes it to the halfback for a touchdown. And the game could be tied again, and it is. Can you believe a second string quarterback just did enough work to keep the game alive for LSU? I can't believe it either, but now it's time for Indiana. Could this be their final drive? Can they put it in field goal range and win this game? Can they pose an upset? It's going to start at the 25. If you look at the past five drives, Indiana has been going touchdown, touchdown, touchdown with only one missed field goal opportunity. 140 remaining. And now the quarterback steps back, tries to see the open man, but does the opposite, passes it to a Player that's not Indiana, apparently. Thank goodness they did well, wasn't caught or that would have been game over. Unfortunate, right? So here we go. Quarterback fakes it, passes it to nobody. And now it's still a third and ten opportunity for Indiana. The rush was too much. Can the quarterback, number five, do something about it? Steps back to pass, tries to find the open man, does to number 15 for the first down. And the cocks keep ticking. But they're moving it down the field. All they need to do is get in field goal range, and this game is over. And we are seeing possibly a big upset, but no, a big deflection by the linebacker. And now we're up to second and 10, 115 remaining. All Indiana has to do is get to field goal range, and they can pose the upset. Throws the ball deep, 
And what do you know? Another deflection by the free safety. That should have been an interception. In the end, his quarterback is playing with fire. He has to be careful. If another interception, this game is over. It could possibly end here if. Indiana gets it there and no, it's fourth and ten. They gotta go for it. The and game's Indiana on the line. is gonna go for it. The game's on the line. Can they get this fourth get this first down? Can they do it? Indiana's looking the pass, throws it, and it's gonna be stopped. Turnover on downs. LSU has the ball with 60 seconds left. Hey, if they can Indiana can stop them, it gets go to overtime. Here we go. Number 17, the second string passed it to the tight end. And apparently there was a technical issue, but it was good enough for five yards gained by the tight end. 50 seconds remaining. And the clock is going to keep on rolling. LSU can try to win it here if they can pull it to field goal range. But Indiana is going to stop the clock at 45 seconds. One first down could be enough, but LSU is going to go even further. And that might seal it. And LSU is still going to try to push it further to the first down mark. Maybe try to go for a touchdown and will for another seven yards. 35 seconds left. LSU is looking to punch in six for the match. Keeps on going. Halfback has the ball. Only gets three yards but still counts as three and one. And it looks like it's overtime. I am shocked. Because that could have been a field goal game over by LSU. I don't know what were they thinking. They were playing around with the clock when they should have just punched in right there. But we're in overtime. And Indiana has the ball. And pass oh good to LSU. Gave it up. Barely any turnovers by Indiana. And the one turnover that they did give up, it's going to be possibly the game over. And right now, it's LSU with the ball. Second and 15, but what a devastating blow to Indiana. They got to hope to stop them here. If not, the game is over. Talk about a devastating blow. The quarterback is still scanning, sees the open man, gets it to the tight end, and it's all over. LSU beats Indiana, and talk about a close game. Unfortunate, but it was a great match for LSU 1-0 for LSU. Indiana will go 0-1.